Hey, this is Dave. Got an old microwave. We're going to take it apart and show you how to make a spot welder with it, or we're going to make a spot welder with it. If you see how we do it, then that's a bonus. But uh, I'm not going to show you how to take this thing apart because every microwave is a little different and you should be able to take your own microwave apart. But once we get it apart, we will show you some neat stuff, okay? Alright, I got all sorts of miscellaneous metal junk, basically the frame. There's also a circuit board in here, and if I had a desolder, I could get out that PZO buzzer. But I'm going to leave all that alone. Here's what I was after. The MOT. Microwave Oven Transformer. You can do all sorts of stuff with this. Um, I'm going to use it to make a spot welder, but all sorts of high voltage stuff you can use with this. I've also seen some people use this to make mini transformers for a village power transmission, right? You know, haven't uh, low voltage coming through transmission lines for say for maybe a uh, hydroelectric dam and then at the house turn it up into high voltage, right? So all sorts of cool uses. Well worth getting the uh, thing. Got a capacitor and if you're not careful this thing right here can kill you shorten it out to make sure that there is no stored voltage if you don't know what you're doing it will kill you okay so this one shorted out I'm not going to show you how to do that because frankly I don't want to take the liability take the if you're going to mess with it look it up look how to short out a uh, capacitor because as I said if you screw it up it will kill you Here's a magneto, and it's good for all sorts of projects. A buddy of mine gave me a microwave because he wanted me to take the magneto and make sort of an EMP gun. If you put a waveguide in front of this, basically you can short out somebody's digital watch at like 20 feet away. Uh, I'm a little afraid of the Homeland Security, so I'm not going to mess with that. What I'm going to do is tear it apart and get at these two rare earth magnets. Those magnets are pretty strong and you can use all sorts of stuff. Frankly, what I'm going to do with it is dump one underneath a, bottle, a bucket, fill the bucket up with water and use it to hold some steel wool down so I can rust, so I can get to that Thermate video that I've been uh, promising. Nice little 120 volt stepper motor. A fan. Three micro switches. I didn't think there was that many micro switches in there, but that's cool. A nice light bulb. I'll find that for some use, light bulb and holder. And then something else I'm going to need for the project is the power cord. Basically, to make the microwave transformer uh, spot welder, I'm just going to use this, the cord, maybe a micro switch for some safety, and then that. Uh, cord that I made the other day with the terminals. So let's get to it. 